Oh, yeah, Michael, uh, what did you see um, on the interception there that led you to the ball? I um, mean, I was just reading the quarterback, read his eyes. I seen uh, he was looking that way. I thought he was going to take off running, so I was already moving that way. And then it happened to be the second round that I was able to jump. And uh, it looked like you played the running back or something <laughs> there uh, in your career on the run. How did you get outside and uh, see the block for you again to get to, get to the end zone? Yeah, I got to give a special shout out to my guy, Photo. I mean, uh, we always talk about blocking the, the mobile quarterbacks, and they laugh at me for it. So I'm glad he was able to get in front of Cannes, so I was able to get to the end zone. And, uh, I mean, did you play running back at some point? I played running back in high school. Okay, I remember that. <laughs> I saw you on the sideline afterwards doing this. Was that a little bit of a nod to your new baby? I got to rock the baby. You know, my baby's five years old now, so or five days old. <laughs> of that. He's five days old, so he's at home, so I can't wait to get back to him. What does yeah. it mean to get your first pick six and your first interception game? I mean, uh, I got to take it back here. Cam Newton is my favorite player ever. Cam Newton and LeBron James growing up, they're my favorite players ever. So I think it's it's insane. It's my first interception. Baby was born a couple days ago. I think mean, I'm on cloud nine right now. What kind of statement for this defense to have two pick sixes in back-to-back games? I mean, it's huge. You know, we believe in ourselves. We, you know, it's something we talk about. We know we can make big plays. So, I mean, uh, we always talk about big plays coming bunches. So, I mean, it was able to, we were able to come out here and make some plays. You mentioned Cam Newton being someone that you always watched growing up. What was it like to play across from uh, I was I was bummed out last year, you know, he wasn't here. We played against Carolina, and then he was on the uh, the Patriots, so I was bummed out then. So we finally got a chance to play against him. So I think mean, it was it was just a, it was pretty cool, pretty cool. So how do you suppose when your your child is old enough to appreciate this moment? How are you going to explain this this week to him? Uh, well, I'm definitely going to let him know that you know your daddy was pretty athletic. So, <laughs> but no, I mean it's just going to be some a, a good moment we can experience together. So I'm just. Can't wait to you know build up memories for him. So, that's much it. Mike, what do you think it says about this defense that guys like you, guys like Jalen, maybe guys who aren't you know the greatest in the world are starting to make plays. Marlon last week are starting to make plays on this defense. Like, what's that wrong to what you guys are trying? To well, I think we just got a bunch of hungry guys out there, you know, like I feel like like myself, I've always believed in myself. I feel like I'm a starter in this league and I prepare every week like that. So, um, I mean, I feel like Mar Marlon and Jayhawk, those guys are too. So when we get our opportunity, it's all about seizing the moment and your opportunities. Are y'all, I guess, how much more comfortable are y'all on the defense now? Oh, it really comes. I mean, you know, it's, it's just playing the same calls over and over again. You get to put your little thing on it. You know, first we were trying to like learn the defense. So, you know, you do everything like on the books, but I mean, as you know, football is not X's and O's. So really you got to put your own little flavor on it. And I think this defense right here is really taking over. Y'all are six and two away from home. What goes into being so good on the road games? And what, what, what's the mentality you see? Man, I don't know. We got we to gotta get, get our home. So I, that's, that's our biggest thing. Uh, I mean, for me personally, I don't, I don't really don't see the difference playing at home and away. So, but I mean, I see as a team, you know, you got to make home field the home field advantage. So I think that's something we, we preach about. Uh, coach always talks about it. We got we to gotta get some wins at home. Being six and two away from pretty impressive than <laughs> keeping your season afloat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, for us, we're on, we know what we got to do now. We got to go 4 0 for the rest of this game. So, I mean, that's, that's what we're thinking. That's what we're talking about in the building. Well, Michael, the run game, um, what, what, uh, what, what helped y'all on the run defense this game? They ran. Last time we just took it personal, you know. Coach kind of uh, let us know, kind of called us out last time, and uh, it was something that um, you know, Coach Pees and them they, they talked to us, and it's, I mean, it's personal. You let someone come in there and run all over you, you know, you, you gotta you gotta fight back. So I think the guys did a hell of a job up front. So I'm just you know proud of them for doing that. How much did you come into this, this game with the attitude of you gotta win this one to stay by? It? I mean, it's huge. We're preaching. We got to go five and zero. So that was our, you know, we're one one game now. We got to. I mean, we're not done yet. We got to go back and go win four more. So for us, this game was a playoff game for us. So that's that's what we're preaching for the last couple next couple of games. I mean, just everyone around the locker room. You know, you got your coaches, but at the end of the day, coaches don't play. So I mean, the players out there in the locker room telling us, you know, we got to we got to make this happen. You know, we got our captain stepping up. Um, you know, we got everybody. We got everybody in the locker room. Have a lot of respect for each other. So it's just something that we've been echoing around the locker room. No, I think, you know, I think with, with anything, you know, when big plays were made, I mean, it's just play after play after play is going to break through. You know, I think this defense had all the talent from week one all the way to now. It's just we're, we're finally making those plays. And when one plays, big plays happens, it's contagious. So I think that's all that's going on now.